A federal court has dismissed Clive Palmer and Senator Ralph Babbitt's bid to force the Australian Electoral Commission to count crosses as no votes in the voice referendum. Live to Gabriella Power, who was inside court. So, Gabriella, what can you tell us about this decision? Tom, this is not the outcome that Clive Palmer or Ralph Babbitt were hoping for. Just moments ago, federal court judge Stephen Rares dismissed their bid to force the AEC to change the voting rules uh, on the ballot paper in the voice referendum held in less than four weeks now on October 14. Judge Rares came to the conclusion that a cross is ambiguous and a tick signifies approval. Now, Australians will be instructed to write the words yes or no in a single box on the form the AEC has been making it clear that a tick will be counted as a yes and a cross will be discounted as it's ambiguous. This has been consistent legal advice that has been provided for 30 years and across six referenda. Now, Ralph Babette's lawyers today argued that a cross should be counted as a no vote as it can reasonably be taken as a rejection. Uh, his lawyers also argued that if a cross is discounted, then a tick should be discounted as well. But that argument was ultimately rejected. And this is what Ralph Babette had to say just moments ago. Not the outcome we were hoping for, but still, at least now we know. A tick will count as a yes, and a cross, it'll count as nothing. It's invalid, and it goes, well, basically straight into the bin, unfortunately. So, people out there, I say this to you, just write no. Keep it simple. Ralph Babette has just confirmed to Sky News that they will be launching an appeal. They have one week to do so, Tom. Gabriella, thank you.